Good morning, everybody. I um, went to give everybody another little update uh, after my little epiphany last night that I think I needed to share with everybody what I had been doing for my own health over the past couple years and that I thought it would help uh, using neti pots and steam, uh, inhaling some steam, you know, deep breathing exercise. Hopefully people will remember that if they get that dry tickle in the back of their throat from everything I've read and are seen online, that looks like um, how things start out. So I'm taking a break from the news after the president spoke today, doing some Willie's Roadhouse. I'll probably work on my taxes later. Um, there's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, my cough is still here. It's still present. I still have a scratchy throat. And it's worse, you know, after you've been laying down at night and I get up in the morning and it is uh, a little bit more dry and a little bit more hacky than it was yesterday. But <clears throat> I'm able to get through a sentence without talking. Some of these videos I had done multiple takes on because I coughed so much, it was just terrible. Um, so, but these are just like the first or second take and no problem. So um, no COVID-19 test results yet is one thing I wanted to say. I'm still patiently awaiting those. Um, when I would have patients in the hospital that were a little aggravated because things were taking longer than normal, I would say, well, you know what we call patients, patients? Because you need to have patience. And sometimes they would chuckle and sometimes they wouldn't, but uh, I'm still waiting patiently. Um, looks like I'm not going to be able to work from home. Uh, talked to, texted to my boss today, and uh, that's okay by me with my symptoms. I still think I should probably stay here, still waiting the COVID-19 tests. Um, I'm happy to join the fray, like I said, if, that, if that's what needs to happen. I'm still trying to get some answers from my doc on um, that was actually moving to California this week. He had mentioned that I was immunocompromised or had a weakened immune system. So um, we'll have to see about that. I'm, you know, who knows? Um, I think all healthcare workers, if they're working in the hospital, should be tested for COVID-19. It appears that some people can be carriers and shed the virus without showing any symptoms at all. Um, I hope that's happening uh, coast to coast. If not, uh, that is something that I found a little concerning. I'm not sure what my hospital's doing. Um, I know that I would like a negative test before I return for sure. Uh, well, let's see. Um, you know, and people that know me know I don't like cameras in my face. I don't like that. I'm a big footer. I never wanted to really be on the TV, and I, I don't like that a lot. But right now, I'm, I'm talking about what I know, and uh, this is my way to vent and to get rid of anxiety, is to educate people on what I'm doing, what I think works. And so that's why I'm doing this. I'm not doing it to get attention. I'm doing it because I sleep better at night, knowing that I'm doing what I can. Um, so go with what you know. What do you know? Um, you know, I am not a doctor. I am a registered nurse. Um, most of my advice is stuff that I've learned through the years or stuff I'm doing on my own. And I'm gonna go into uncharted territory right now and talk about the stock market. I, people that know me, I months ago put, uh, divided my money into thirds, into different cash RAs with different companies. And um, when the stock market you know, went as low as it did this past week, I started buying stocks that I couldn't afford before, like Apple and, um, uh, other stuff that the people are mentioning on the news that are w working on uh, medications or vi doing ventilators and uh, video conferencing from home. Um, I haven't lost any money since I have done that. And so uh, I know it seems to be holding its own right now. If you know stocks and um, you are comfortable telling people what they should invest in in the long haul while we go through this, you know, go with what you know. Um, it helps my anxiety to talk about this kind of stuff too. Um, you know, a, a lot of stuff with the president talked about today, I know it was a, a very heated uh, press conference. Um, I am getting a little bit of pressure because I've been politically on Facebook before, anti-Trump, but I will say this moving forward, I'm gonna stick with nursing and healthcare. November is coming, November is coming. I can't get here fast enough, but it's coming. And um, so just, you know, remember that. Um, I'd like to say a couple of little things, too. These are my medications. This medication is $4,000 a month. This is an injectable drug that was just approved by the FDA last uh, year, 2019, for asthma and other COPD and chronic rhinosinusitis with recurrent polyps. I've been taking it for about two months. It's an injectable twice, uh, once every two weeks. 
<clears throat> and um, if I wouldn't have had the great insurance that I had with my company, I might have not have been able to afford it. Um, we need to change that in this country. Um, I'm very lucky that um, I have the finances that I do, um, that I don't have to worry about not working for a while. I'm not rich by any means, but I'm comfortable for now. Um, th that's a shame that that drug is $4,000 for two shots. And that's just one of the drugs. The other is budesonide, which I do in a neti pot. Um, and some of the stuff I've been reading online about the coronavirus, I've stopped doing this because it looks like by mouth steroids and ibuprofen, that anti-inflammatory effect from those don't work well with the coronavirus. So I, on my own, because I'm not getting a lot of information from my docs, I know they're busy, um, I am self, I'm researching myself. So let's look at some positive notes. You know, I've been through Katrina. During Katrina, I was 40 miles north of New Orleans. We lost infrastructure, electric, two weeks. We really didn't see the news, no cell service, the cell towers were down, the batteries were dead. We have it better than Katrina in that respect. Um, at least you're able to get information and give information and talk to loved ones. And, and we, need to, we need to do that. Um, the president did say one thing this morning that I really appreciated him saying. And that was people are getting along that didn't get along before. I, um, if you know me, I'm adopted. I know my biological family. Um, me and my, uh, some biological family had not been, had been estranged for a bit. And uh, I think it bothered both of us, and we both reached out to each other, and I encourage you to do that. Make those bridges. Um, I'm actually, uh, I sleep much better at night now with what's going on in the world, and that's, that sounds under sad, but um, uh, I'm seeing so much positive stuff now that um, I think it's, I think it's, we're going to get through it. We are going to get through it. But uh, November is definitely coming. Okay? All right. Peace out. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.